Hello everybody and welcome back to another Charlotte Crosby hair tutorial extravaganza using the Beauty Works waving curling wand. Don't actually know the name of it. Um, but I purchased this one because I seen it all over everyone's Instagrams and the curls looked phenomenal. So I thought I'm gonna get this one and I'm gonna give it a try. This is not at all a paid advertisement. I paid for the curling wand myself and just thought I'd film us using it for the first time. So the thing I like about this curling wand is the barrel is so long. When you see this barrel, look, look how long it is. Like, if you've got long hair like myself, long extensions, long natural hair, it is perfect because you can wrap the whole hair from root to tip around that wand. I know with a lot of wands, sometimes they're quite short and you can't manage to get your whole hair on there. And it's like, well, this is pointless. So this is really good for that. And as you can see, I've just sectioned my hair top and bottom because I don't like to mess about with too many sections because then that's when you start to have like loads of hair to curl and, and then it's in thinner sections and I prefer a big wide curl. A big, thick, long, wide curl. So I've sped the video up now because this is just more of me doing the same. But as you can see, the little white clips that I'm clipping up the curls with, they actually come in the package with the wand. And there was like, oh, I'm just going to guess off the top of my head, there was like nine maybe nine, maybe eight, no, maybe nine, and I thought, oh, this isn't going to be enough to clip all my bits of hair up, but the best thing about these clips are, you can actually fit like two or three curls onto one clip, so that's a lifesaver, because they're dead long, so a crucial thing, you must be clipping your, your curl up at the end of curl net, and letting it cool in that position, held up by the clip, that is the secret to have a long-lasting, bouncy curl, that is how they stay and you need to let that curl set in place. When I was younger, I used to just curl it and let it dangle and they would have dropped out in like an hour. But this is the secret to having that long lasting perfect curl. When I do my hair like this, when I wake up in the morning, my curls are still amazing. So as you can see, I'm just getting to the end of doing all of the um, curls now. There's a lot curled up. Some have fell down. It's fine if the odd one falls, you know, there's not... There's a lot of hair in them curls. Now, once you've got that all clipped up, as you can see, I am starting to take that down now. But once that's all clipped up and your hair's done, I always go over it with a light spray of hairspray and then you want to leave it clipped up for like 10 to 15 minutes. Actually, you know what? 20 minutes. If you can leave that hair clipped up for 20 minutes, that would be amazing. I mean, if you can leave it clipped up for an hour... That's even better, but it annoys me and I like to do it just before I go out and I don't have that much time because I'm always running late. Now, as you see, I have took all of the clips out. The curls are so bouncy and gorgeous. Like, even like that, they look so beautiful. But what I do like to do is brush them out. But like, even like that, as they are now, without even brushing hardly anything, they look so gorgeous. Um, I've got hair fever, so sorry about this, Constance and Evelyn. Um, so what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to brush through the curls. Now, you can see straight away that side I'm brushing compared to the other side is is really loosened up. It looks thicker. It looks it looks wider. It looks more loose. And to be honest, it's it's what I prefer. I prefer giving them a bit of a brush out, a little bit of a hairspray over. Always running my fingers through them. Just really like tease them curls. Like give them movement. Brush them. Back comb them. Put a little bit of hairspray over them. Not too much though because you don't want them going hard and dry. And then I always, 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 once it's out the clips, I'll go in and go back over a few random strands. Just to get um, a little bit of different movement in there. Sometimes I'll do them different directions. But one massive thing I have got to say is you have to curl the hair away from the face. Don't ever do inwards curls. Like maybe a bit further to the back but never do an inwards curl. An inwards curl is not the curl I have on your head. All outwards. Now... 
I'm just going to rejig myself so you can see the bottom of that. So as you see, this side that I'm brushing right now has got that lovely big bouncy feel. I'm just going over the ends. This is a little bit of a tip here with the straighteners. I mean, it's not the straighteners, it's a curling wand, but I'm just holding that that end down, pulling it down and putting some heat just over the ends, not so it goes straight, but just so it really stretches the curl out. And now I think I'm going to start on the other side. It is advised to wear the heat protective glove that you get in the packaging because sometimes I have had a little bit of a nip by accidentally touching it, but I always forget to put it on. Um sometimes I feel it gets in the way but it, it is better to wear it and you do get that with the in with the whole curler and the clips and stuff as well so I always like to back home the crown of my head the very top that's where I like most of the volume and then right in at the roots down at the bottom but as you can see I'm going over the other side now teasing it brushing it really stretching them curls out turning them into big bouncy voluptuous curls and then again going over the end with the curling wand not to fully straighten it but just to not make it as tight at the end i feel like with this hairstyle there's a lot of like playing around with it giving it some movement maybe flicking the fringe trying it on different sides until you know exactly where you think it looks best as you can see, I'm doing a lot of that here and then going in and curling some bits that may not have had enough curling love. I wonder what I'm thinking about. Who knows? Probably thinking about when this is all going to be over. <sighs> Hopefully sooner rather than later. So here I'm going in at the root again, right, like right in the middle sections, nearer the root to give like to give it a really thick feel. It's really coming together now. If I do say so myself, it looks absolutely stunning. It looks like it's been done to walk down the red carpet. An actual fact, I'm just going downstairs to sit on the set A all day. There'll be no red carpeting. I don't even think there'll be any red carpet in, in 2020. So, the style is done. I think I perfected it. Do a little bit of a zhuzh, and that is exactly how you do your big, bouncy curls that are guaranteed to last a good couple of days. And as they drop out, they look even nicer. They turn into nice little flicks. Highly recommend that wand. And as I said, this is not an ad. I bought these myself. Goodbye. Like, comment and subscribe, please. Love yous.